Hey everyone, Gabe from Team Genius here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get started in your Team Genius assessment. First, you'll want to navigate to the Create New Page, where you can find a list of templates to choose from or get started with a blank template. Once you click a template, it'll give you a preview of the criteria that you'll find within that template. And once you find the correct template, you can click Get Started. You'll then be able to name your assessment. Most organizations will name the assessment the year, the season, and the type of assessment. You'll then be guided through a list of questions that will help you get started quickly once you're into your assessment. You can find nice descriptions of each of these questions right below the question itself. Once you've gone through those questions, you'll have the first three steps completed and you'll be able to dive deeper into those criteria as well as player pools, evaluation schedule, and other parts of the setup. If you'd like to customize your scoring format, such as max score or scoring increments, you can do that within your scoring forms. If you'd rather score on quantitative criteria, you can also switch over to quantitative type of scoring. And once you have that customized, you're able to click on each criteria and change the name of the criteria, change the input type if you'd rather score on named values such as poor, average, excellence. You can add those choices over here. You can also add instructions for the coaches under instructions here and then you can hit save to make those changes. If you'd like to clone any of those assessments, or sorry, those criteria, or delete those criteria, you can do that here, and you can also rearrange, and you can add as many criteria as you'd like here. Once you have those criteria finalized, you can navigate to player pools, and if you'd like to start by creating new player pools, you can do that and name your age groups or teams in an in-season evaluation scenario. You can also generate an access key that's specific to each of those player pools under access keys. Keep in mind if you do an import, and we'll get to that in the next video under add players, then that will add player pools automatically into your account. So you can always skip that step as well. Under evaluation schedule here, you'll have the number of evaluation sessions that you selected during that assessment builder. Within each session, you're able to select which scoring forms you'll be using, as well as which player pools will be participating in that evaluation day. You can also set start and end dates so that coaches don't score or have access to this session outside of those start and end dates. And again, you can create that access key that's specific to this session if you have a coach or evaluator who will be act assessing just at this session. You can do that with each of those as well as adjusting weights similar to how you could adjust weights under scoring forms. Next, comment snippets are pre-added comments. Only about 25% of our customers actually use this function, but it's there for you if you'd like to add pre-added comments so coaches can add a comment very quickly. Under user permissions, you're able to invite other users into your account. If you have other directors that you would like to invite in, you can actually go up to settings and invite new users and you'll be able to invite them in. Just remember to check the system admin box if you want them to have access to everything in your Team Genius account. Otherwise, if you'd rather somebody just have access to everything in this 2022 summer tryout assessment, you can give them ownership access if you'd like to give them access to just one age group within this assessment, you can do that by clicking on the age group, typing in their email and hitting save. And same thing with player check-in only access, then they'll only see this player check-in page. And again, all you do to give them access is check this uh, correct access level. You can then type in their email, hit save, 
and then they will receive an email invitation to create their Team Genius account and they'll have access to the correct permissions. Under advanced settings, sort of the last step here in setup, you'll see some of those familiar terms you saw in the assessment builder steps. For example, if you wanna hide player names in the mobile app, you can check that box. If you want to shuffle players between player pools or evaluation groups between sessions, you can do that here. This is a very complex feature. If you have questions on that, you can go down to the help button there and look up uh, some instructions on how to set the strength factors. Profile images and mobile check-in. And there's no harm in adding either of these two. Most clubs will do that. Once you have your advanced settings set, you can hit save. And you'll wanna navigate back to the home page here. And next step will be adding players, which I'll cover in the next video.